I'm Noah, and you're listening to Product Journey. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about releasing Potion version 2, some AH, Ahrefs research that I've been doing, and kind of what's come from that, what I've learned from it, reaching out to some affiliates, and how I'm feeling overall. So let's get into it in episode 140. This is a solo episode. Um, but I am looking for a co-host to the Product Journey podcast. So, you know, if that if that's you, uh, you can reach out. Um, you know, I've been a lot of I've been having a lot of guests, which has been great and fun. But I do really want to have a co-host again. I think it just well, one, it makes it easier to kind of continue doing the podcast. It's 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 easier to do a podcast episode every week. Um, I've been close to doing that, but not always perfect. And I, you know, I try to have guests on. Um, and when I don't, I try to do solo, but solo isn't as great or it doesn't feel as great. Maybe, maybe listeners like, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so looking for a co-host to kind of keep the, keep the things going with product journey. Um, but yeah, this time it's just going to be me talking to myself. Um, but hopefully this will be good because there's been a lot of yeah, there's been a lot going on with Potion, and I've been working a lot on it, so there really is actually a lot to kind of talk through and update. So let's get into it, starting with launching Potion version 2. So this is kind of the whole dashboard. I've talked about this previously on the podcast. I've been working on this dashboard for, I don't know, probably almost six weeks now. I did leave for a week to go on vacation, which that was all great. Um, but I, I put a decent amount of time into this dashboard and kind of like a version two. I was calling it version two just because it is a pretty big update. Like there's a lot of changes, a lot of new stuff happening with this. And so I finally kind of wrapped that up. And, you know, it's it's all great and dandy when you're in, you know, in your office and just building kind of a new version. You're kind of going on that path for a long time. But really where, you know, um, the wheel meets the rubber meets the road is when you actually have customers using it and that's also when a lot of issues can come up and so I was trying to be wise and smart about how to approach that since there is a lot of changes going into this of how to kind of slowly release this new version um, so that everything goes well and so kind of how I did that is I, I did it in stages I first um, just released kind of like the back end infrastructure for version two. So none of the none of the websites or dashboard or anything was actually updated to the new stuff. Just the, the back end servers and engine uh, infrastructure was updated <coughs> just to make sure all of that was working well um, as it should. Um, and then I kind of the next step was to have just a couple friends try it on a staging um, environment and actually I had been playing around with it for about a week by myself on a staging environment um, to make sure that's good I even built a website I built a, a new website actually for this podcast product journey that was another thing I did I built a whole website with potion so you can check that out at productjourney.fm um, and that's really cool because it actually hooks into the notion API and then hooks into transistor so that every time I publish an episode it will connect to the Notion API to um, add a new episode to a database in Notion, which then, you know, that database is also in my website, so it automatically adds the new episode to the website. So it'll just be all, all automatic. So that was pretty cool. I was able to set that up. And then also it was just kind of me testing the waters with the new version. And, and during that, I was like fixing things a lot. I was uh, well, also breaking things, finding issues. So it was really good that I did that for about a week, um, kind of going through that on staging environment by myself. And then I had a couple friends kind of check it out and they kind of sent a video of their experience with it and thoughts, made some changes based on that. So then the next phase was I reached out to my customers, sent an email out to my Potion customers, which is about 3,000 uh, email lists. That's not all like paying customers, but people have used Potion, um, which I haven't emailed my customer list for quite a while, which is probably not great. I, I just haven't felt like I've had much to share in the last like months, uh, probably because I wasn't working on Potion as much. Um, so yeah, I just hadn't, hadn't emailed back as, as much. Um, so that was good to email them. And I was kind of surprised I had 30 people 
that reached out, 30 customers that reached out and was like, hey, I want to try the, the new version. So I kind of had them try it, put it through its paces, found some more little things, but also got some really good feedback. I made a little form for them to submit to kind of submit their feedback, um, their thoughts about it. And people seem to be liking it, which is good. They, they really like the extra options that you can have with the new version. Um, with the new version, you can uh, have settings per page and you can change those for each page. Um, and people seem to really be liking that. So that's been great. Um, and then um, kind of the next uh, stage was I slowly um, just uh, launched it out like it's live and it's it's live right now so that new customers could start using it. And so I didn't like do like a big um, broadcast to everyone or even on Twitter and say like, hey, the new version two is out because I don't know, I just didn't want a ton of people. I mean, ideally when I do do that, there's hopefully like this little kind of launch thing and hopefully a lot of people try it out. Um, but I, I just want to make sure that that all goes smoothly when that, if that does happen. And so just having my customers that were already going to come to Potion anyways, slowly just trying it. Um, and so that's been good. And so now that's that's basically where I've gotten to with the, the new Potion version two release. My plan is probably the day that this episode goes live, Monday, uh, I'm going to actually kind of launch, like kind of publicly launch and share like, hey, this thing is, is live, the new Potion. Um, I actually made a video, kind of like a trailer video. It's just 43 seconds. I use ScreenFlow to kind of zoom in, pan around, and make some cool um, video uh, kind of editing, kind of show off the different features, the new features of the dashboard. And so I'm going to share that. I'll probably post it on YouTube and Twitter, and hopefully that can get a little buzz, I'm, I'm hoping. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And so that's kind of the plan with uh, version 2. So kind of because I was kind of doing this slowly, kind of in the background, like, you know, just kind of trying to take it easy. I was doing other things at the same time. One, I was fixing lots of issues that came up um, and just fixing bugs, making it better. But two, I started um, doing some research with Ahrefs. So I bought Ahrefs. I used to have it like a year ago, um, but I haven't really been doing much, so I, I stopped using it. Um, so I purchased that again and just started looking through SEO because that's kind of the next phase for me, I think with Potion, is really kind of diving in deep into the SEO, um, making some content, updating my website to better rank for website or for keywords and things that people are searching for. Um, you know, I think it's easy for a software developer like myself to build something like I did version two. And then instead of like do the, the marketing stuff that you should do to follow it, you kind of start to see gaps or things that could be better right away. And then you just dive right into that. I mean, that's what I've done before. Um, <clears throat> but so this time I really want to make sure I do good marketing of what's what's new with, with Potion. And so that's going to be like updating guides, which actually I already did a little bit of that. There's a lot of like videos and things that I probably need to update as well to be accurate for the new version of Potion. Um, so there's just a lot of kind of catch up things on the marketing side that I can do now, which is actually good. Like it's it's new stuff for me to talk about and hopefully people hear about Potion for the first time through that. Um, but so this Ahrefs research was really me trying to figure out how I can start to get more people seeing uh, Potion organically. Because I really think this could be my, like, my biggest... Um, way i mean it is the biggest way that people find potion currently but i think it could be probably like five times bigger like i think i could get five times more maybe even ten times more search um organic search and so it was really eye-opening actually seeing some of the keywords and ahrefs the different things i am ranking for but not doing well for and just seeing like a ton of opportunity and actually that kind of jumps to what I wanted to talk about a little bit is just kind of how I was feeling. Because after after seeing that, I was actually kind of feeling a little bit overwhelmed of just like, wow, there's so many things I could do. Like, there seems like there's a lot of opportunities um, to make Potion better and on the marketing front that I kind of felt a little overwhelmed with that. And um, yeah, I mean, I guess in, in one sense, that's like good. Like, that's positive. Like, there's somewhere I can go from here. It's not like I'm hitting a dead end and it's just like, okay, 
that's it. It's actually, you know, there's a lot of actions and things I can take to hopefully make potion grow. So it is a positive thing. But on the other hand, it's like, it seems like there's so many things and I'm just one person that it kind of seems overwhelming sometimes. I mean, I felt that a bit with potion as a whole before because I think potion is actually a kind of complex thing. Like, it's like, well, one, Notion is a tool that's made by a team of, I don't know, I think they've got like 200 employees at this point, probably more. So a big team of software engineers that they're they're building all these Notion features. And I'm having to like keep up with uh, Potion, keeping those features like with in par with what Notion is doing by kind of playing catch up. Um, and actually that was another thing, <laughs> just talking, putting on the stack of things I've done in the last like two weeks was like updating some of the, the Notion uh, kind of stuff um, to make that better. Um, actually, one of the things I did that was really cool was made it so that, well, so actually, yeah, let me step back. So databases in Notion are a really big part of Notion. People love databases and you can add views. So kind of different ways to view those databases. Like you can have a gallery, you can have lists, you can have tables to view that data in a little bit different way. And up to this point, Potion has only supported being able to have one view at a time. So you can only show one view. Where in Notion, and Notion has been like this for a while, you can add multiple views to a database and then the user can kind of click through the different tabs of the views. And so that was like kind of a big thing that I just kind of updated in Potion and added to be able to actually have multiple views which is really handy for websites and for like resource kind of tools because you can filter a, a, a database by different types of data, right? And then the user will be able to kind of click through like tabs and see that different data that's filtered really easily. And now they can have that in websites. So like that's one of those things where it's like, you know, there's probably a full team that was like updating that and making that happen in Notion. And I just have to kind of follow up and, and make that happen for, for Potion. And, so yeah, sometimes it feels like a lot and it feels like a lot for one person. Um, so yeah, that's kind of why I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Um, but at the same time, like I have, I, I just did a, a lot of stuff with this version two and hopefully now I can feel like I can catch up a lot on the marketing side and really grow this thing. And that's kind of the goal. Um, so that was really good with the Ahref stuff. And actually shout out to, to Ruben Gamez. He is like a SEO genie or boss i don't know he's he's just really good at seo and uh he was giving me some tips and giving me some feedback i was kind of throwing out some ideas and he was helping me so that was that was really uh, beneficial um and so yeah there's basically i'm going to be updating almost every page of my website based on some of this seo findings that i've i've found um, and just making my website better adding more detail adding more pages um, and so that's what I did in just the last couple of days was add and update the, the showcase page on the Potion website. Before, um, it was pretty simple, like it just had links to each, like to, to example websites that were built with Potion. Um, but now I actually am actually using my own, <laughs> the own feature that I just built, which is having different categories in a database. So you can actually now kind of click the different tabs and find uh, websites that might be kind of what you're trying to build, like a, a blog or a resource or a help docs or portfolio websites, and it has all the different categories. So it's really a lot nicer there. I also added some more um, just text and paragraphs for hopefully adding some keywords and more info, added like a free, frequently asked questions. So trying to hit some more of those keywords with that. And uh, so that was good, updating that. So that was kind of another thing. Um, let's see, another kind of result, you know, thing that resulted from doing this Ahrefs research is figuring out like, so yes, I have some of these updating things to do to the website, but what's like my next, what's the next thing that can really move the needle for SEO? And I don't know if it's really gonna be, well, at least now, it's not, it's not gonna be creating blogs, I don't think. like like creating content that's like trying to catch Notion people and then be like, hey, and I also there's a Potion website builder. Um, that I think that'll probably be for later down the road. I think there's there's probably like more like higher leverage things and keywords and things that I can do um, instead of just like 
creating a ton of content. And one of those I think is creating like engineering as marketing kind of tools. And I think this is probably what works better for me too, uh, just because that's where my skills, you know, more so lie. And so trying to think, think of ideas of like, what kind of tools can I create that are just small little like valuable tools that will be free that could be valuable and pick up a lot of search um, and then kind of just be kind of attached to the Potion website um, or something like that. So I've been thinking through different ideas and I have a couple in mind, some different like, so one of them just to yeah, might as well share one of the ideas, it, and, and I don't have it fully fleshed out, is how to make like an embed. So something that people can embed in Notion, which or embed in their Potion websites as well, that's valuable, that's something that a lot of people would want to use. Um, and then, you know, the, the benefit of that is I can put kind of in the corner of the embed, like, you know, builtwithpotion.so or build with potion and link back to my website. And so get a ton of links kind of generated that way. Um, so that people will then click that to come and like use the free tool and they're like, oh yeah, this is also like a website builder. So I think that would be a great way to get a lot of people hearing about Potion for the first time. <clears throat> okay, last thing I wanted to talk about was I started reaching out to some affiliates. So this has actually been one of my bigger channels um, recently is, I, and actually it's one person in particular. I have one person that created some great content about Potion, they put it up on their blog, that's you know getting quite a few hits, and they're now, they've been doing this for the last like two or three months, and they're now making around $300 a month from the 30% affiliate that they have on Potion, which is pretty crazy, um, and it's obviously very beneficial um, for me that they're doing that, and so I was, trying to uh, reach out to some other people that I think makes sense. And this is also another thing that AHREFs helped me find is who are the people that already have websites in the Notion space that are getting a decent amount of traffic. Uh, reached out to some people and I actually still have a few more to reach out to um, just to see if they'd want to be down to create some content about Potion, partner with Affiliate. Um, so I talked to a couple of people, got on a call with one person that's really interested and I think they could. They have a great website already that does has some Notion content, and I think they could really create a great uh, post um, that could send people to Potion. And this is like a great kind of going back to that being overwhelmed. I think this is a perfect thing where I'm not having to create all the content, do all the stuff, and I'd gladly kind of trade um, and, and pay some of these people to do that through these affiliate links. So it's a great partnership, and hopefully uh, things start to grow. Um, another one that's similar to that is I'm working on a partnership with Notion Forms, um, so that would be that could be a really big one. Um, there's you know there's obviously a lot of things in common with having forms on your website and website and forms, so it just makes a lot of sense for us to work together. And he's you know he's an indie hacker as well, so hopefully some new stuff around that will I'll be able to share in the next month or so. Um, but yeah, that's that is pretty much. Yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to talk through. That's kind of the update. Lots of things going on and uh, just a lot to make progress on. So hopefully that was interesting. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me on Twitter, Noah W. Bragg, and I'll see you in an, another episode. Thanks for listening.